Would you like to come to a classroom each day with a visual environment like this? Oh. Or an environment with visual cues? <laughs> the dimensions of this wall task oriented classroom is 30 foot length by a 22 foot width with 14 foot ceilings. There are 50 wall tasks and they can be changed at any time to accommodate the needs of individual students. There are high ceilings that light visual task objects like this globe can be hung and still be out of the reach of students. Wall tasks tell visual stories which could take thousands of words to explain in a book and could comprise a chapter and even a unit. Wall tasks are sometimes grouped in science by clusters in the same science areas such as life science, physical science, earth, and space science. There will be four types of wall tasks discussed. Printed posters task, student made task, teacher made task, and combination student teacher task. Printed poster tasks. Clusters of poster tasks can form a unit. Each of these ecosystem posters, Arctic and Antarctic, rainforest, coral reef, ocean, Desert and New Jersey Five Critical Habitats represent a chapter and all chapters together represent a unit. Dependent on a student's individual needs, magazines and small booklets can be also added to the task. A second poster cluster is human anatomy with additional reading material below. Also, if there is not enough information is seen with the lung, Additional information can be attached. A third poster cluster is Earth Science with weather and cloud formation. A fourth poster cluster is a mixture in different areas of physical science. A fifth is a poster with a cluster of four tasks on the periodic table integrating the physical sciences with the life sciences. Subject area grouping clusters don't have to be perfect because in real life all areas of science are interrelated to each other. Task evaluation questions are hung next to each task. Some of the style of evaluation are defining words, filling diagrams, short answer questions, outlines, and verbal quiz. Some questions are copied from the textbook or back of posters. Other questions are developed by the, both students and teacher. Students are always welcome to add more questions to specific tasks at any time for extra credit. Student made wall tasks. Student earns a grade for designing a wall task. Students who drew most of the tasks that will be shown were on the second to fourth grade reading level or spoke Spanish. There are three styles of student made wall task. Basic drawn or photo illustration, cycle illustration, an experimental illustration. Student tasks are hung on a higher level so they don't get damaged by others. Let's look at five examples of basic drawn or photo illustration tasks. First, the student draws and labels the fish with key anatomy words around the fish. Second, the insect and its anatomy is drawn in detail. Third, human anatomy drawn, even though it is not the best art work, it is still an A because content covered is most important. Fourth, in this example of photosynthesis, the, the student draws a simple photosynthesis diagram. Fifth, a student takes photos of a scientific procedure or observation. This example of student photo illustration will be shown in more detail in the experimental illustration task. Cycle drawn task for examples. First, to compare and contrast the life cycles of complete and incomplete metamorphosis of insects. Then visual examples are matched with each life cycle. For complete metamorphosis, a bee, ant, fly, and mosquito. The student added a photocopy of the pupa stage of the silkworm which shows in more detail where silk comes from. These visual 
connections are rarely seen all in one place, but in printed words in advanced high school science textbooks or college textbooks. For incomplete metamorphosis are a praying mantis, earwig, co cockroach, and stink bug. Second example, the frog's life cycle drawn in detail with keywords surrounding the cycle, copied picture questions from a textbook as part of the evaluation. Third example, compares in detail the nitrogen cycle and carbon cycle side by side. Fourth example, shows in detail five steps from flower to fertilization to seed formation and to fruit formation of an apple. This is usually not visually all in one place in a textbook. It is usually described in printed words in a textbook on a 10th to 12th grade level. Experimental illustration tasks. Experimental illustration tasks are detailed visual examples of students' science fair projects which illustrates the scientific method. Besides forming a task to learn a scientific method, science fair projects can be broken down into basic photo or drawn illustration wall task and cycle illustration wall task. A good example is part of a science fair project by horticulture students in 2003, which took place in Trenton at the State House, War Memorial, Hughes Justice Complex, and Department of Labor and Agriculture. The photo task compares and contrasts bad plant growth in a clay soil versus good plant growth in an organic soil. The cycle illustration task is a detailed ecosystem diagram chart and a soil decomposition decomp pyramid chart. Both tasks are related to each other and combined to make one task. Another experiment illustration task shows the operational process of making yogurt and how it can benefit the human body. Student photo illustrations task shows the procedure and observations and results. Also, basic drawn tasks illustrate yogurt reproducing over time and compare and contrast a person's health on eating and not eating yogurt. Teacher made tasks. A lesson in a chemistry book with facts defining an atom broken it down to a second grade level with pictures relating to short sentences and important words highlighted. A second example with the same principle is a chapter on electron arrangement in the atom. Combination student teacher task, two examples. First example, facts about atoms. The teacher shows an illustration of a periodic table and a parts of an atom. The student takes it one step further and draws a football stadium to represent an atom. Then the student places the atom's masses, which are represented by a marble on a 50-yard line and sand grains in the stands to visually illustrate the atom is 99.99% empty space. Another student drawn of the atom, Penny, Moon side by side illustrates that if a hydrogen atom were a size of a penny, a penny would be the size of the moon. This task helps the student visualize the emptiness of the small atom, which is knowledge needed when later visualizing the way stars over their life cycle produce elements. Second example is a detailed drawing by a student comparing and contrasting drawing the plant cell and animal cell. The student also defined each part. The teacher adds pictures that better explain the student's work. To conclude, any wall task in a room can be combined to form a cluster to meet the individual needs of visual learners. Wall tasks and visually fused conceptual PowerPoints can reinforce each other and can be taught in this classroom at the same time.